one of the uh, strength of Dirty Bird is that you know the connection with with the people is real. I feel good. They say if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, and if that's true, Rivastar hasn't worked since 2007. The Italian-born, London-based producer has collaborated with legends as diverse as Fatboy Slim and Green Velvet. Backstage at Dirty Bird Campout, he told us about how his early supporters became some of his closest friends. Hey, what's going on? I'm Reckless here at Dirty Bird Campout 2017, hanging out with Reva Star. What's happening? All good, man. I'm just going to call you Steph from here on out. <laughs> All right? All right. All right, cool. So you just played uh, a B2B set with your homie, Jesse Rose, his last ever west coast show is this emotional for you yeah yeah yeah. that was you know like jesse and barclay were the two uh guys who actually first released the river star records really i didn't know that yeah they signed my first two records wow. front room with jesse uh while he was still running it and dirty bird back in the day but now you're running your own label i have my own label snatch and brock wild two yeah. labels but they actually brought Riva Star into you know the the actual scene, so I will be forever grateful to them because yeah. they really helped me helped me to develop you know the Riva sounds and you know for a brand new act releasing on the best labels at the time and still now actually yeah. Dirty Bird uh, front room is not is not open anymore but you know still super cool it was for me like a dream uh, and that really helped me out so in like six months time. Everyone knew about River Star, and I just have to thank them. And then I've been constantly in touch with them and Jesse, and you know, Jesse's like my brother. Uh, we, we really talk a lot about music and swap ideas and do some parties together. It's crazy, man, because everybody here is like family. You know, this yeah. has got to be a homecoming in a lot of ways. Yeah, that's you know, it's, that's the beauty of the of the whole Dirty Bird vibe, right? So it's kind of like. Um, a family thing in a way because the sound is so particular yeah. that you really need to be um, e emotionally uh, tied to that thing which happens usually in family environments yeah. you know what I mean uh, so um, yeah I think that that's the secret and also and also the concept of running a festival where actually the artists are not just backstage but you can actually find them doing the activities or eating at the same spots as the people, and people, I guess, love it, love it. I've been saying this all weekend, but I haven't said it on camera. I've, I've literally covered festivals on every continent on this planet. I've never seen anything like this. It's so incredibly unique. And you know what? That's not prepared. It's not a branding or marketing thing. They are really like that. They really love it. And one of the uh, strength of Dirty Bird is that you know the connection with with the people is real and people feel it and love it. That's why they have such a strong fan base. So so because tight it's, it's to them. beyond a fan base. It yeah, is an yeah, extended yeah. family. It's like a a big friend doing you know Hell some yeah. music and you go there and have fun and. Yeah, one thing I notice is that you guys still accept uh, open submissions. At the label, there's a, like a spot right on the landing page. Open submissions, boom. How much time do you spend a listening lot. to like demos? I get, I get like 200 tracks a week. Wow. 150. Wow. When I do, uh, when we do like a number one or a top ten, even 300. Wow. How many artists have you signed from open submissions? I don't know. I I I prefer uh, to actually. Um, sign people that are unknown fresh fresh producers or something uh, but I can tell you I have something like 600 tracks in the catalog wow. so far yeah. wow and we are turning 100 in um, November that's fantastic with man. this EP uh, with me and Green Velvet yeah I actually played one of the tracks um, in the live set well yeah the new track with Green Velvet because one of my favorite I got it I've, I've been DJing since like 96 I've dropped a lot of Rita Star tracks in my days Thanks. but one of my favorites is Robots ah nice and you got a new one with that's Reva Rope. Star that's yeah Rope. right well that Weiss remix is that's, so dirty funky as well. but you got a new track with Curtis coming out uh, next month yeah on the 17th of November yeah it's a double tracker I gotta know on like a personal level what's it like work I've never met Curtis in person he's amazing He's, I mean, he's amazing. He's got to be on another level. He's super down to earth, super supportive, very helpful, 
funny to talk to uh, and he's like an elder brother to me you know like it's it's just fantastic for me because you know I get to work with the people that I admire the most uh, so you know Green Velvet, uh, Cardis, uh, Barclay, Jesse I did stuff with Fatboy Slim because yeah. for me I mean, I was Carl producing. Cox. I think I've seen. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. He did some stuff for Snatch. Never did um, um, collaboration, but yeah. you know, he, he did a release on the label, and for me, it was amazing. Uh, but you know, like just getting to work with these people, and all of them are all very humble, and um, you know, it's just amazing. You know? Yeah, there's there's something to be said for for uh, for Green Velvet, like the fact that I was going to parties in like the late 90s and hearing camera and I can still play that at a party today and it just crushes yeah. I mean, that guy is he's, he's got a long it. he's got a long view he's just got a fucking long very view. simple message you know like groove <laughs> yeah how I, many how many camp outs is this for you that's the second second camp out I've been here oh well, here in the other location two years ago so I know you got in really late today but uh, the last time did you get some uh, spend some time on the grounds so was in and out Always Sadly. in and out, man. Yeah, because I'm coming from London, so I, I need to make sure that the, the weekend is full. Yeah, and, man. You know, I got to tell you, bro, this is my first one, and you're missing out. I know. You really got to make it. Just stay with Barclay for the weekend in L.A. And then just, I'm uh, actually going to L.A. for a few days off. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Nice. Well, I enjoy your few days off. It was such an honor to hang Thanks, out man. with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. I feel good.